Go, 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 go. Hey guys, the say wall back on the PCT with my faithful like and partner Kennedy. Hey, we're out here doing a little uh, trail run slash fast hike. <laughs> Just doing a 10K. Going in a little over three and back three from Elk Lake. Elk Lake Resort's closed right now, but the parking lot outside is still open, so we parked down right in case of Lakes Highway. I'm looking for tracks up here. There's a little bit. There's some cat tracks up here. Uh, there's something small right there. Might be coyote too. But uh, yeah, Kenny and I are getting out here, get the flood blood flowing a little bit before it starts snowing. It's about mid 30s up here. Cascade, High, Cascade Lakes Highway still open probably for a couple more weeks. So today is hey, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, guys. There'll be no uh, more candy for me for a little while. Ever since I've been off the trail, I've been off the trail for two months yesterday <clears throat> and uh, gained uh, most of the weight back I lost. So I've been eating really well and uh, and you know how I like beer. So I figured I'd get out here and burn some calories today. Get back to the familiar trail, the PCT. Missing it, but enjoying it right now. And uh, I will for the next uh, hour or so. All right, let's talk a little bit. Okay. Hey, Kenny, you're breathing hard. I'm not. <clears throat> go, 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 go. We're at about 19 mile 1956 right now. Almost gonna turn around. Turn around a little bit. It's a nice day out here. Yeah, I've been saying this for a while. I'm just about to my halfway point. <laughs> about 4.6 in. Probably do five and turn around so a total of 10 here. <clears throat> it's been all uphill. So downhill will be fine. Turn around point. I think if I remember this ridge line up here, then it opens up a little bit more. There it goes. Something's up. Everything up there. It's in the clouds right now. South Sisters right straight ahead. And Banksters over there in the clouds. Hey guys, mile marker 1957 on the PCT, just did five miles in, just a little under five. There's Elk Lake straight down there, if you can see it, Lava Lake's behind that. <clears throat> Your Mount Bachelor is directly that way, you're looking at it, but it's in the clouds, everything else in the clouds up here, and there's a little bit of snow up here too, so I'm going to turn around. My five, got my ten, this is campsite, there's actually a campsite right here in 1957. Go a little farther, there's some snow up there, but uh... I did my five, that's good, they'll give me even 10 on the way back. <clears throat> One word of caution up here is that when you're hiking this time of year, as you can see here, the weather can change pretty quickly. So always let somebody know um, where you start at, your start point, your turnaround point. <clears throat> give someone a heads up, let a good friend know where I was hiking. So that's actually beautiful up there right now. Yeah, it snowed up here just uh, yesterday, the last couple of days. So there's only <coughs> a couple more weeks here before this place is closed down up here. It's going to snow. But so, yeah, jump out there and, and take advantage of where we're still here, where the weather's still here. But be cautious about it because it's not like 
when I did a through hike, if I fell and hurt myself, fall down, I can't get up like an old man. You, <coughs> chances are someone's going to come within an hour or two. Someone's going to walk up behind me and kind of uh, help me out and give me a hand. But out here now, I'm the only footprints out here now. Kenny and myself, the only two out here walking. I think I only see much of anything out game or nothing out here. But, <coughs> so, you always carry your cell phone with you because rescue teams can, typically they can ping off your cell phone signal. There is a little bit of signal up here. <clears throat> so it's a little bit off and on, but they can track me that way <clears throat> and kind of dress for the weather. I mean, I'm not dressed for, I'm dressed for a good trail run right now, but not probably bestly dressed, but I do have water. <clears throat> this last summer when I was hiking, um, a friend of a friend went on a trail run down the Bay Area, just outside the Bay Area. For a trail run, you don't think he carried, he carried maybe a little bit of water. We didn't kill a cell phone. <coughs> you went missing. And it was actually one of the trails that my daughter runs all the time. Well, Laura, so I called her up. I said, hey, can you help uh, search for this guy? So she went and searched, went and searched for the guy. They never found him. But actually, I found his body a couple weeks later. It looked like he had some type of medical condition. The poor guy was, I think he was late 30s, maybe early 40s. <coughs> he was a, he was a experienced trail runner. He was in great shape. He, he must have had some type of medical issue because they found him underneath the tree. It looked like he had, uh, he was just struggling somewhere and then kind of went and sat in the shade on the tree, but it was super hot. It was over hundred degrees <clears throat> and, but he didn't have a cell phone. He kind of told his wife where he was starting. So they knew the starting point, but they didn't know where he went. And he actually, he went a different route than usual. So <clears throat> they couldn't find him. He did. He did leave a starting point with his wife, but he didn't carry a cell phone. So I couldn't ping off his cell phone. I remember another family too this summer that uh, just off the of Merced River in the Central Sierras, that all of them, uh, it was a husband, wife, and a small baby, and their dog died. Good exposure out there because of the heat. <clears throat> Same thing, I'm pretty sure they didn't have a GPS tracking device with them. And so, it's important to have when you're in the deep Sierras, or in the deep woods, to carry that some type of in-reach tracker, that you can push that button just in case you need it. But especially this time of year, it's cold out here. I mean, uh, that could snow here. Well, actually, if there's a little bit more moisture, there'd be snowing here right now. But uh, it's great to get out. But you always want to be cautious and safe. So, all right. Let me uh, back to running. Hey, Katie. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Sorry about the shaky video. Got to get it while we can get it. All right, Kenny? <clears throat> okay. I know what you guys are all thinking. What has AWOL been doing the last two months? Well, not nothing. <laughs> no. Start a new job. Uh, over a month ago, <clears throat> I had some options. And I decided to kind of stay with um, supporting veterans. I'm working as a... Uh, it's like a veteran liaison or... Uh, care coordinator with uh with the va but actually with a private facility uh veterans program it's a substance use disorder at a mental health facility that that supports uh, veterans dealing with uh, drug and alcohol abuse <coughs> addiction and mental health anywhere from depression anxiety and ptsd and trauma so i decided to go that direction i wanted to stay kind of helping my uh my brother and sister 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 uh service members and veterans so I'm doing that out of Astoria, and it says we're building the program up. <clears throat> it's um, it's growing, and it's doing well. We just kind of implemented a couple new therapy methods to kind of really focus on uh, the serious uh, uh, guys and gals with serious PTSD, trauma and PTSD. So I think that's going to benefit our guys very much. So <clears throat> there are some other, let's see the slobs out here. There are some other uh, methods trying to find a way to kind of throw those into our program too there um <clears throat> there's a method down in uh, northern mexico to use it's a uh, using psychedelics for to treat ptsd for severe ptsd a good friend of mine went through the program there and he said he did wonders for him i mean it's not fda approved they're still testing 
they're still researching it. But I've known uh, a couple dozen guys that have gone through the program that have just incredible success. It's like 85% success rate. <clears throat> and they're not really sure how long the therapy lasts. But I know Dakota Meyer went through it about a year and a half ago. Medal Honor recipient. And he's doing great. And he had real severe PTSD after his uh, the battle in uh, Afghanistan. So that's what I've been doing the last month. I actually got back into the gym. So I'm working a strength training, but I'm not doing enough cardio. So I need to get out here. The only problem is when winter comes, it's it kind of cold. It's hard to do the cardio, as much cardio outside. So I've got to find a way to bring it inside. <clears throat> but things are going good. Looking forward to... Uh, Veterans Day coming up, November 11th. I'm actually being interviewed live on a Granite Gear Instagram page, their Hot Minute. That'd be pretty cool. So, kind of represent uh, Veterans Day, service members, veterans, and I'll get a chance to talk a little bit about our program that we're working with right now. So, all right, that's what AWOL's been doing last month. Yes, I did gain some weight back. <clears throat> did I mention I like beer? Yeah, so, I've got to do a little more cardio to kind of keep it uh, slim and trim. Like I need to. All right, back to the trail. <clears throat> I do miss the trail. We see, girl. We see. All right. Nice. Close up for the winter. Yeah. That was a nice little finish. 10 miles. We're about 220. Sounds good to me. Yeah, there you go. Good girl. Alright, there we go. Alright, Kate, thanks for checking for me. Check right. We're clear. All right. There we go, 10 miles back on the PCT. That was a nice little break from uh, the real world, getting back into the real world. My glasses are all fogged up right now, so I took a minute to clear them up. <clears throat> but we're heading back home, and uh, we're good. Is that good? Is that good, Kim? Is that good, girl? Is that good? I think she was happy with that. She likes, I think she likes me in the videos. All right, guys.
Y pues se fue, se fue, se fue. 